Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today, me and Barry are going to be doing a review on parrot pellets. Now, it's not necessarily going to be on how much he likes one or the other. We're going to be looking at the ingredients and see if any of these brands are any good. I think one of the biggest problems uh, that it comes to when people feeding their parrot is that they don't understand the quality of the pellets that they're offering to the birds. So. We're going to be talking about that in today's video. Um, I asked you guys if you wanted me to do this since my dog kibble review was so popular and you guys really wanted to see this. So I hope you enjoy it. Be sure to subscribe to my channel so that you get more videos about animals and you can follow me over on TikTok and Instagram. I'd like to thank the sponsor of this video, Weekert. They provided me with an ultrasonic air humidifier, which I've really been enjoying. This humidifier was designed in California to improve air quality in your home. It actually has a UV sterilized bulb to kill bacteria. It has a remote control, but better than that, it actually has Wi-Fi that you can control it from, and this actually does hook up to Alexa. It has a 1 to 12 hour timer. It also has an essential oil diffuser and it holds 5 liters or 1.3 gallons. So this is made for about a 500 square foot room. It will mist for at least 24 hours straight and then will turn off when it is empty. And it's BPA free. I use it in my office, which is also my plant room. It's been great at keeping my plants humid. I also recommend it for reptile rooms or just any room. I'll link all the information down below. First of all, let me mention that I did do another video explaining what parrots should be eating. I did a video talking about um, how to get your parrot to start eating vegetables. A lot of people don't realize that parrots actually should have a diet of 80% fresh fruits and vegetables, mainly vegetables. And it's a little bit different depending on the species. So your smaller birds like your um, you know, parakeet groups, uh, they're going to have 60% uh, fresh diet and then the rest um, seeds. Uh, so for larger parrots like this one, you really only want them to have about 20% seeds in their diet. Now there are also uh, macaws, for example, that do need a higher fat concentration in their diet. And then uh, lectus parrots and lorikeets also have a little bit of a different diet, but this does fit most types of parrots. And so yeah, they are supposed to be eating a lot of vegetables, which a lot of people don't realize and is super important to your bird. And of course, I have to address how some people will be like, well, in the wild, birds eat seeds. Well, yes, and in the wild, birds burn a lot of calories, so they have to keep warm. They have to fly many miles to find food. They have to just you know, do all these things that they're not gonna do in captivity. So obviously their calorie consumption is going to go way down or they're going to gain a bunch of weight and have other health problems. So yes, uh, even though they would eat more seeds, less vegetation in the wild, um, that doesn't work for them in captivity. So if your bird is on an all seed diet, please check my parrot playlist and there'll be links down below as well in the description. Now, moving on to pellets, um, some people keep their bird on mainly a diet of pellets, um, even more pellets than vegetables, which you should still be feeding, you know, that 80% vegetables, and if you'd rather just not feed seeds, then, you know, the rest could be pellets, but I actually don't do that, um, and I get a lot of people asking me why I don't do any pellets for my birds. Well. That's probably going to kind of get explained to you as we go through this video and I'm going to show you what pellets really are and um, yeah, so I like to keep my animals on just natural food, what they would actually be able to find in the wild or you know the closest thing to it. And so let's go over pellets and why I don't agree with people that feed their birds only pellets. But before we do get started, I just want to say that this review is not just a review from me. It's also to help teach you guys how to read a bag label. And that's one of the things I wish um, people had gotten more from my kibble video is they wanted me to just review every dog food out there for them. And if you really pay attention to this video, you're going to see how to actually read the labels and then decide for yourself. Like you can go into any store, pick up a bag and you should be able to understand 
what's in that bag. So besides just getting a review from me, I hope this teaches you guys how to look at the food labels. So I'm gonna go over common brands and to start off with, I wanted to start with Zupreme. This is Zupreme Fruit Blend uh, Flavor Parrot and Conure Food. This bag of bird food is complete junk. And so, so let's take a look at it. The main ingredient is corn, soy, wheat, and sugar. It actually has sugar as one of the main ingredients. Corn, wheat, and soy are filler foods. This is completely valueless to be feeding to your bird. There's hardly any nutritional value out of that. This is just what kibble companies put into food in order to, to, to fill it up. I mean, you'll find the same ingredients in dog food, cat food, uh, other types of food, and, and now parrot food, except um, at least, you know, with some dog food, you're still getting a little bit of meat or other things in there. With this, all you're getting is corn, wheat, and soy. Like, the food is the filler. And of course, most care guides are going to tell you not to feed your bird sugar and candies and sweets. Of course, you get sugars broken down from any type of food that you eat, but that's the natural process of it. You don't need to be, you know, cramming extra sugar in there, especially for these birds. So it's just a horrible thing to have as one of the first ingredients. And so there is a small amount of fruits. Now, when I make chop, I have six to eight uh, vegetables and then one or two fruits because you do want to focus more on vegetables than fruit because of course fruits should be limited because we go back to the whole sugar thing and so I'm sure that there's a very limited amount of fruit in this food but it's just still not a good selling point and you know that's kind of what they're they're going off of here is that they have fruit in it and it's like but we want vegetables we don't want a ton of fruit a ton of fruit and sugar added on top of that you can see that's just not a healthy diet for anything okay other things about this is that Still on Supreme. The food is also dyed for the color, so it has yellow 5, red 40, yellow 6, blue 1, and red 3. So that's a lot of garbage to add to your bird's diet, and birds do like color. That is a you know great way to get them to eat their food. But you want to you know provide different colored vegetables because you know each one has different types of vitamins and stuff. You don't want to be dyeing their food. Just, you know, giving them dyed corn is, is what's going on here. And um, so it has yellow five, and there's multiple studies showing that health problems come from the yellow five dye. Next, I just want to point out that this food actually has uh, DL uh, methylene, which is normally found in fish and meat products and used in dog food to supplement for low animal protein diets. So what is this doing in a parrot food? I really do not have the answer for that. Uh, they don't need meat. I guess this is because the diet is so loaded in carbohydrates they're adding this. Uh, this also helps increase appetite in dogs and cats, so this might encourage your bird to eat its food. Uh, that's what I think it's used for here, uh, with added sugar to get them craving food. Um, in dogs and cats, this is known to cause kidney stones and liver disease. So <laughs> really, it can't be all that great for your bird. Now, we don't have a lot of studies to show what this does to birds, but considering that they don't have high amounts of this naturally found in their diet, I think we can guess that the results are not going to be good and could possibly be worse than the results that dogs and cats get when um, you know they're getting kidney and liver disease from DL methylene. So basically, there's just nothing nutritious in this food and all of Supreme food is pretty much the same. Uh, they have different bags, but it's it's all the same main ingredients and it's uh, not very good for your birds. And so it contains a lot of sugar. It has the same main ingredients and you're gonna notice that that's pretty common in most of the brands that we're gonna look at. And these are just, you know, your popular brands that you're able to find uh, at PetSmart, um, Petco, or uh, Chewy's. I tried to pick out things that are just easy to access. And so one of the important things to understand about a pellet diet when it comes to your birds is that this can actually cause them to have inflamed and irritated skin. This is what leads to feather plucking. So a bad diet can actually cause for them to have itchy skin that they're constantly, you know, 
pecking at and pulling their feathers and then it develops into a habit and then you just have a really bad issue you know going on there so you want to keep your birds happy healthy looking pretty and make sure you stay away from these foods and so let's go over some of the other ones and now that i kind of showed you a little bit about what all of this means um i think it'll start making sense to you when we look at other brands so another one is rudy bush daily maintenance and this again mainly is corn wheat and soy at least they don't have sugar but salt is a main ingredient that was kind of weird it's also uh, full of alfalfa, which isn't bad for them, but um, like I add alfalfa sprouts to their diet. I'm just not sure I want to be giving them a lot of alfalfa on a daily basis because again, alfalfa is used as a filler in dog and cat foods. So it's, it's not like it's a staple diet. Uh, this doesn't have the food dyes, but it does still have the DL methylene and lots of those other compounds. So uh, now let's look at Missouri Parrot Diets uh, Maintenance. Again, corn, wheat, soy. Uh, this one does have flax seeds. And flax seeds are just a super easy thing to add to your bird's diet without um, also adding a ton of wheat. So it's super easy to just buy flax seeds and then have more fun actually eating them individual than have them ground up in their food. Um, another brand is KT has the same thing corn wheat soy but surprisingly has a few extra things like uh dried eggs and uh beet pulp and yes birds do eat eggs it's not cannibalism unless you think that people eating cows is cannibalism i, I have to explain this every time but not cannibalism uh so it's i think we're, we're improving but but still i would not justify feeding that to an animal Next, we're going to go to a little bit higher quality pellets. Um, for example, Tropicana. Uh, this is a little bit better than some of the other brands, but not by a lot. Um, on top of corn, wheat, and soy, it does have peanuts, sunflower seeds, and brown rice. Uh, so you're adding, I guess, a little bit of a variation. Uh, it doesn't add vegetables to their diet, but they do encourage people to feed 30% fresh food. So. Not, not great advice, but we're getting somewhere. So it's a step up from the others. Again, I'm not sure why you would feed this. It's just gonna cause inflammation of the skin and feather plucking in the birds because it is super high in carbohydrates. And a bowl of chop has a ton more vitamins than this food does in a serving. So by now you've seen that most brands of parrot pellets is going to have very low quality food, mainly just fillers, that's all you're giving your bird. But if you do insist on feeding your bird pellets, uh, here in the United States, there's only two brands that you should be going with, and those are the two that I'm going to review next. You're gonna see what a complete difference they are from the other two. And this is not a sponsored video, I'm just trying to be honest. Okay, so we're gonna take a look at Harrison's. Um, this is one of the best pellets out there. So it has a much longer list of ingredients, um, less cause cancer causing compounds. Oh, also they do have bread mixes, which um, I really want to do a video review on. I've, I've been wanting to do that. And so do subscribe if you guys want to see one of those. So they do have um, more ingredients on there. And so um, besides like the usual stuff, there's also peas, lentils, peanuts, sunflower seeds. Uh, oats, brown rice, um, so you're you're getting more, but um, the best pellets that really are available right now, and they're an important thing to say about them, is that they're the only ones that are cold pressed, and that is Topps Parrot Pellets. Now, cold press is a different way of making kibble. Um, all the other ones are hot pressed, and that can actually be worse for the inflammation and itchy skin and cold press um, does seem to help a lot with that so um, that's why i think they are the best and also when looking at their ingredients so the ingredients are organic alfalfa organic cold millet barley uh, also organic but i'm just gonna skip it barley rice sunflower seeds uh, sesame seeds quinoa pumpkin uh, buckwheat dandelion carrot spinach uh kelp rose hips there's just there's so much I'm, I'm putting the full list up on the screen so you guys can see it orange peel uh lemon peel rosemary leaf 
cayenne powder, uh, red chilies, nettle leaf, cinnamon. So you can see that there's a huge difference in the quality of this. And so I do insist that you cannot bag quality ingredients because chop is still going to be the best thing you can give your birds. It's fresh food, but uh, this these pellets are pretty good. So if you do really want to feed your birds pellets, just please don't go and buy something super cheap from the local pet store. Um, either get one of these two, I do recommend Tops pellets. So that really is top of the line when it comes to parrot pellets. Now if you guys enjoyed this video, please let me know. I was thinking of doing a similar video where I go over the seed mix bags and talk about uh, the different brands and how good they are, the quality of like, you know, the seed mixes for parrots such as, you know, the different ones that have sunflower seeds, peanuts, all of that. They There's also sometimes a bunch of other junk in there. So I was thinking of reviewing those. Let me know if you guys would be interested in that. I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, please subscribe to my channel. Also follow me on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, TikTok. I'm on all of those. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.